My name is Rosonji Kwanjiro. I graduated from Codhive in the year 2019. 2019 was a crazy year for me because the first half I was not sure about the program because I had never heard of it when I joined. And so when I came in, I was still having like a lot of questions, is it a legit program? And then throughout the year, it kept improving and I discovered like this is the thing that I want to do. So it was a mixed um, phase where the first half I was not very sure and then the second half I was sure this is what I want to do. I want to be in tech and programming. My story is a crazy one because before I joined Codehive, I was um, in a campus here in Kenya, um, a public university, and I had to defer because I was having like financial problems with my school fees and everything. And um, when I got to my third year, I figured maybe I need to take a break because I was having a lot of trouble clearing my fees, um, getting all my exams done. And so I thought maybe I can just defer. And then, so I was wondering if I defer, then what do I do? So I never even told anyone what I was doing, not even my mom. So yeah, when I, when time came to open the school in 20, um, 2019, so my mom is asking me, how come you're not looking like you're getting prepared to go back to school? And I told her, I just will explain to you after what I'm trying to pursue actually works. So December 2018, I had already like applied. I came through, I came um, across the Codehive link um, from a WhatsApp group. And I, to I told myself, because I'm planning to defy anyway, let me just take a shot on this one. So 2019, um, while I was waiting for the feedback from the interviews, I was so anxious because if I missed it, then I did not know what now to do and how to explain why did you defer, why didn't you tell anyone? And I thought, I don't have to trouble my mom about this because I know she has tried enough. So I'll just do this thing on my own. So yeah, I when I got the, the position, that's when I told my mom, like now you have to take me to this program that I applied and I they took me in so now you have to take me so that you can do like the formal process of onboarding me to the program. I had like an idea of what tech and programming is because when I was in campus I was doing uh, a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics so there was like a programming module, but I was not really into it because it was not like really taught how it is taught in Codehive. So it's just sharing like um, an old computer that is in the university, an old com computer with like five people and then it jumps and then you just don't understand what is going on, but you can tell maybe it's something that is actually interesting to work on. So. I remember like when we started learning and I see Java and I'm thinking actually this looks familiar I've seen it before but this time it is it is taught how it's supposed to be taught like you can it's a hands-on skills you actually you have your own machine you have like good internet you have supportive trainers and now I'm thinking programming is actually interesting and it is very different from my experience when I was in the university. So the learning process now was becoming more interesting and then now working with projects and like real, real, real life projects like building a learning management system, like uh, you, you, you learn through a project, you just don't write code that works. So it's actually working on projects and you can, like my, I think my favorite part was to feel like when I'm done with this program, then I'll be able to work because when I was in university, like it's a lot of information, but nobody tells you this is how you use it in a workplace. So I think the model at Codehive was the catch for me. You're taught how to, you're taught the skills and then how to apply them. So 
I think that is how the education system should be. Because in my three years of campus, if I left university, still I would not like thrive in our workplace. I would not know how to work. So for every girl who is watching me and they are interested in tech, I want to tell them to just see me as they go ahead, they need. I want them to know that it is a very technical field that can be pursued by anyone, male or female, and that it is very exciting to solve problems using tech. And I want to motivate them and tell them that it is doable because I'm doing it, I'm two years in and I want to continue doing this. So it's a challenging field when you, and very challenging when you listen to stories and stereotypes but it is a very possible um, path to pursue and they should take it on.